Oh, it's in two different pieces. Not as satisfying as I thought it was going to be. What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. And in today's video, we are going to be installing my brand new OE Toyota Circuit Edition spoiler. Yes, uh, you can order these straight from Toyota. Uh, I will leave links down below. I believe there are two different versions. There is the gloss black version and the matte black version. Uh, obviously, I went with the gloss black because my car is gloss black. Uh, but anyways, enough of me. Let me go ahead and show you what it is. Yeah, I already had to open it because they do have you uh, check open it right in front of them before you pay for it. Obviously you should do that anyway, so make sure there's no damage because this is exactly how it comes. There's no padding, there's no foam inserts. How you see it right now is how it came. So obviously if you're buying these from the Toyota dealership directly and not getting a ship, do make sure you have it checked out before you pay it. Uh, obviously mine had no scratches, came out nice and clear. This did take me two weeks to get in. My hood actually also came in, uh, but I'm gonna be dealing with that in a different video. Uh, but for this one, we're going to be dealing with this. There currently is no template uh, for the CE wing. I believe you can get the XSE uh, template, and that works for like the middle bolts, and you can kind of like jerry-rig it uh, for the side bolts. But uh, I'm feeling pretty confident. I think I can get it done myself. If not, I'm going to have to head over to my buddy shop, and then uh, we're going to take a crack at it there. But anyway, so anyways, let's go ahead and start off in the trunk. All right, guys, so the first part uh, is going to be very easy, or technically the first two parts. Uh, so what you have to do is you're going to have to take an 8mm wrench or socket and take off the factory, I think they're called stanchions? Stanchons? I'm not sure how you pronounce it, but they're not on very tight at all because they're 8mm bolts. And if you guys are unaware, uh, the GR Corolla, I'm not sure if the regular Corolla is too, but the GR Corolla, the trunk is completely made of plastic there is absolutely no metal parts in the trunk except for like the nuts and bolts and whatever else electronics but the trunk lid itself or skin whatever you want to call it uh, is completely made of plastic once you have those two eight millimeter bolts out just go ahead and pop this factory one out and just go ahead and put these bolts back in here because you will not need to reuse these they supply you with longer 10 millimeter bolts uh, so yeah Really simple, that's part one. Part two, let's go ahead and do that to the other side. Next up, just go ahead and clean up this area of any dirt uh, because there is a double-sided piece of tape that needs to stick in there. All right, then you're gonna go in the box. Uh, this box may not come with the instructions needed to get this done, but it does come with all the mounting hardware. So you're gonna go ahead and depending on which side you start it off with, take the left hand or the right hand stanchion, go ahead, pull that out of the Ziploc bag. Set that aside. Uh, then there is another bag of plastic clips. Uh, go ahead and take two of these out. There should be a total of six, by the way, just in case you guys were wondering. Then uh, whatever side the double-sided tape is on, go ahead and orient uh, the uh, actual pegs itself uh, the same side as that. So just go ahead, click that in. Very satisfying click, and then another one at the top. This one's a little bit harder because it's at the top. I don't want to break anything. One second. Okay, there you go. Okay, there you go. I don't know if you heard that snap or not, but it's in. So there you go. Then just go ahead, peel off the double-sided tape. Then there are going to be two ports right here, left and right. Just go ahead, line those up and plug it in. Then push down on the double-sided tape. Give it a few seconds. One, two, three, ten. All right, and that should be good enough, hopefully. I'll just go ahead and change the direction of these because my OCD. All right. And there you go, step three done. Step four, go ahead, rinse and repeat on the other side. All right guys, so this is going to be the tricky part without a template. Uh, I do know that some people use the XSE template for the main three bolts, and then they just kind of like modify it to where they can figure out where this bolt will go. Obviously I didn't do that because, well, I didn't think about it at the time uh, until I started reading up on how to do this. Uh, so I think my best course of action short of actually going back to a dealership and buying an XSE template, is I'm going to take the remaining two clips, 
pop them into the side like so. One and two. Okay. And then I'm going to take a little bit of a toothpaste tack. If there's any toothpaste left in here. Okay. I'm going to go ahead, put that right in the middle. And then whenever I clip in the sides, I'll push this forward and down, and that will be where I drill those three holes. And then once I have those three holes drilled, I'll do the same. I'll take out the clips, and then I'll mark the sides so I can figure out where those go. I don't want to put them on the sides just yet because like, I don't want to like smear the toothpaste as I'm trying to like push it in and cap it off. But All right, attempt number one. Let's hope we can get this in one shot like we did the passenger seat. So I'm going to try and lean it as far forward as I can to make sure the toothpaste doesn't get prematurely spread, uh, which I have already failed. So, yeah. Okay, so theoretically, there should be three holes there. Uh, let's see how this worked. Pop that back out. All right, and I have the three spots marked where the toothpaste is. So I'm going to go ahead, get a small drill bit, and comes the scary part. All right, so here comes the scariest part. I got the smallest drill bit I have. Okay, pull that out. Go ahead and put the spoiler back on and <laughs> hope I did it right. All right, so the holes are actually too small for me to tell if they're actually lined up with the threads or not. So I am gonna have to widen them just a little bit, but yeah, let me uh, wind that up and hope I lined it up correctly. All right, as you can see, I nailed it spot on. Uh, well, not spot on, the middle was just like a millimeter off. Uh, from where it's supposed to be, but luckily I started off with a smaller drill bit. So all I had to do was use a bigger drill bit, a little bit like one millimeter forward towards the back of the car, and then it lined up just perfectly. So yeah, uh, what I have now is I have it bolted down fairly loosely. Let me put this back up real quick. Uh, let, me, let me go back to tripod. So I have it bolted down just a little bit loosely. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to like kind of like pry back a little bit on the spoiler because I took those clips off so it's not clipped in 100%. Uh, I'm going to put a dab of toothpaste on this little bolt hole right here so that way I know where to drill into the side corner so it can bolt in from the side I assume somewhere right around here. So yeah let's go ahead and uh, drill some more. Alright so dab in the middle, push the spoiler forward, and push up against. Okay. <clears throat> awesome. We got our dab right there. Now rinse and repeat on the other side. All right, once again, let's go ahead and start off with a smaller drill bit, and uh, pray I have it lined up correctly. Let's 
go ahead and bring it up directly in the center of the hole. Okay, now let's put the spoiler back on and see if the bolt holes match up. Okay, so the center still screws in. Uh, so it is lined up right there. Uh, get a flashlight. All right, so just like before, the hole is too small for me to actually see. So let's go ahead and wind it out and see what happens. Okay, I widened the holes. Let's go ahead and uh, get the trunk down and see if they lined up. I really wish it was a little bit more visible, like how the top ones were, because there's so much room. But since it's in such a dark corner, it's very hard to tell if it lined up completely. Uh, so... And yes, I see the threads on that one. And I see the threads on that one. So we are good to go. Perfect. Take this off. Start to peel back the double-sided tape just a little bit. Not too much. Just enough to where you can still pull it off, but nothing sticks. So it's in your way. Everything bolted down. So. I also went ahead and wiped everything down with some alcohol uh, to make sure everything fits or sticks the way it's supposed to. I had to like, uh, earlier I had to like buff off all the ceramic coating. So that actually took a while, uh, but you know, you guys didn't need to see that. Oh, almost forgot. While I was measuring, I took off the uh, pop clips that were on here so actually this should help line everything up a whole lot better without me having to like hold it. So go ahead and slide these pop clips back in. One, there we go, two. So go ahead, line that up. There we go. One, two. Now, let's go ahead and uh, see. See if all the bolt holes still line up. Let's see, does the middle one catch? I feel it threading, but is it just pushing it up? Oh, it caught. Perfect. Now, so one thing to note about the side ones is that the factory bolts they supply, oh, the factory bolts that they supply right here are really short because in the circuit edition there is let me move the camera where i drilled the hole there is a recess portion in this trim right here uh, for the circuit edition but since obviously this isn't a circuit edition uh, there is no recess so the bolt is too short luckily i had a uh a long enough bolt here so I tested it out. It does thread in. Uh, so now let's go ahead and see if it's long enough and you get an Allen hit. I'll be right back. Okay, got my four millimeter Allen. Let's see if it will catch. And it caught, perfect. Let's go ahead, do this other side. Hand tight for now, good to go. All right, so let's go ahead and see if these last two fit. Now, the only issue I have with this last section is that it is very cramped in there. I don't have the angles I need. Uh, having fat hand and short fingers, I know my wife's disappointed, uh, does not help the situation. So I'm definitely trying to fight something I shouldn't have to if I had all the right tools. But nonetheless, I was able to do it last time. I should be able to do it again. Third brake light gave me a little bit more wiggle room. 
to maneuver my hand. And I'll go ahead and do this last one. This one's actually extremely hard, so my battery's about to die. So I'm gonna save it until I finish. I'll be right back. One more step. Go ahead and take the four long bolts that are supplied with the, uh, the kit or the spoiler. And then they will be replacing those eight millimeters that we're holding in the stanchions uh, right here. So two on each side. Don't lose them in your black interior because it'll be hard to find. And oh, just one more area where the wing is held down. And then remember, these don't need to be torqued down too tight because it's basically all plastic. All right, rinse and repeat on the other side. And yeah, let's see how it looks. All right, guys, and there you have it. So let's go ahead and peel off this tape as the final step. Oh, it's in two different pieces. Not as satisfying as I thought it was going to be. All right, now I'm gonna let this cure for a little bit, make sure it you know, adheres to the car and whatnot, and then I'm gonna go out, wash the car, and I'm gonna show you how it looks like in the sunlight. All right, guys, so the original plan was to wash the car, obviously, as you could see, that is out of the question because it is about to rain. So I'm just gonna give you guys a quick look. Uh, anyways, this is really the angle that really makes the most drastic difference. Uh, this wing needed, or this car needed this wing to give it that more of an aggressive side profile look from the rear quarter panel. Uh, Cause before uh, the rear was just so wide and then you had like that dinky flat spoiler uh, and it just needed something a little bit more uh, to make it look as aggressive as how it drives and how it looks on every other portion of this car, except for the spoiler. I'm honestly unsure of why the Marizo edition doesn't even come with the spoiler itself. It's only the circuit edition. Um, that comes with this particular spoiler and as i was mentioning before it really just looks like a more aggressive uh looking xse spoiler or sports spoiler or whichever it's called from the regular base corolla uh, i do kind of feel however the hoops are a little bit smaller than the xse maybe they're a little bit bigger on the xse i could be wrong uh maybe i can kind of jerry rig something if it is uh, because this wing does come apart right here uh, so maybe that leaves options later on to remove this and then add like another one. I'm not sure how that's going to work or why it's in three different parts, but it is. Uh, but overall, very well worth it. Uh, this video is going on a little bit longer than I thought it was going to be. Uh, I think it's probably well over a 20 minute mark. Uh, in terms of like editing, I'm going to try to trim it down as much as I can based off the uh, videos. But uh, I want to show you guys as much as possible on how to install this wing. So until next time, guys, uh, next up, CE hood. So later.